What is prayer? Is it the off-pattern scattering of autumn leaves on the grass below hulking trees? The leaves' interruptions upon green calling for a painter's brush, a scene staged by innocent leaves as though intentional. And is that prayer? Isn't quiet adorning a ground a beckoning back to the great spirit like here i am a reflection of what you do on earth and my scattering is a praise gusting toward your madness when concocting such a microcosm we call earth in a universe of unfolding reflecting back is that prayer or is prayer only going one way with pleadings for intercessions? Yet our songs spring tears, our visual art throbs places in our minds and hearts we never thought possible, like how stimulation of certain brain cells can give a person the distinct feeling an arm is inside their chest. And is it possible we contain a massed neuronal sensibilities of everything that crawls and swims and bears lungs upon this earth? The snail, after all, retracts its eyes into its innards. Mothers and fathers like to see themselves reflected back in the oversized and baby-soft heads of infants. It's what we might call a prayer answered, but the infant cries, wanting our intercession. Does God want to parent those who are an answer to God's prayers? Maybe prayer is a process, like that physicist who said, Everything is in the process of folding and unfolding, like how love unfolds between romancers, or how DNA folds and unfolds to turn genes on and off depending on environment's cues. A process. The process of creativity stirs the energy of creators. Their works can festoon a desire to wander in their daydreams. Creators whisper a prayer to the unknowable. But yet, never as much as those who endure pain and the ravages of disease, who go to hospitals hooked to entrails tubing from bags, who are in the process of a body folding, a process that makes a person yearn for yet more unfolding, while upon this ground that holds leaves fit for a painting. Offer your sufferings up to God because Jesus suffered. Is that prayer? Maybe it depends on how a person attends to disease, but also on who dares to create who feels the arm inside their chest, and who, like lovers, unfold. <laughs>